what's up everybody? This is Phil from Zade Comics, the writer and co-creator of Magic Cop, which is in demand on Indiegogo, and The Lost Pages, which is coming soon next month to Indiegogo, and just one half of the two best looking brothers in all of comics. Uh, now in Brandon's absence, I'm going to do something a little different this week for Magic Cop Monday. It's kind of a, a later upload, I apologize for that guys, but we're going to talk about some Zade Comics news and kind of go in depth on one of the characters for the upcoming book, The Lost Pages. So first things first, the Magic Cop campaign is still going strong and it is still in demand so you guys can still get it. And you are, you guys are back and you're spreading the word, telling your friends about it. Uh, we just got a couple more backers last night, shipped those books off today. They are out um, on the way to their, their homes and uh, we're still getting backers, which is amazing. We're almost to $11,000. Man, we are less than $100 away from $11,000. That is insane. So thank you all so much for making this a dream come true for us. Uh, the more backers we get, the more uh, time and money and effort we can put into the lost pages. Uh, and so we're using that money to go to our future projects, Magic Op 2, and the other books that we are putting out. Um, but yeah, let's get down to what this is about. Uh, I've been on a lot of streams this past weekend talking about the Lost Pages uh, and have been kind of like, you know, stirring up some, some good reactions on that. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is Rob Arnold of the Replicator fame. Um, awesome buddy from Down, down Under. And uh, he's doing this little CG deathmatch. So he's kind of pairing up different characters from Comics Gate and pitting them against each other and doing a poll on Twitter to see who has the coolest character, the coolest design. And I want to announce to you guys, I'm so happy uh, a bunch of people voted in and our boy Crimstone, uh, one of the, the awesome characters from the Lost Pages, actually won his his little pool uh he beat out a character from uh the prospector uh he beat out the big one he beat out is death sworn which is insane i would have never thought that uh people would have voted over and uh had crimstone defeat death sworn death sworn is an awesome character from carlo Rowe. check out death sworn on indiegogo right now it's in demand um and these are the other guys that that uh that they were up that they were up against so we got Crimstone here, Death Sworn. We have Prospector from Matthew Fowler's upcoming book. Really excited about that. Really cool. Awesome play on words. He's like this ghost prospector with a golden pickaxe for an arm. And then the last one, uh, if I could pull it up here, his name is Cobalt. And uh, Cobalt looks uh, pretty badass as well. Look at this. Yeah, cool characters. So by far, I think our pool that we were in was the hardest to choose from. All these characters were heavy hitters. They looked like killers, and uh, it, it was a bloodbath. But we came out on top, guys, and I'm so happy for everybody that supported us and voted and everyone that's excited for The Lost Pages because it just gets me more hype. And I don't know how I could be more hype for this book. Uh, but let's get down to what we're going to talk about. Um, th this little video series I wanted to do, I don't know if I wanted to do it on an update show or maybe make it its own thing, but you guys tell me in the comments if you want us to do it on the Magic Cop Monday updates, even though Magic Cop uh, is, we're switching over to the Lost Pages now. Um, but check this out. We're kind of going in depth on our characters for the Lost Pages, and there's a lot of heroes in that book and in that universe. So the first one, uh, I think the most notable one people kind of like cling to is the silhouette. And uh, you guys may have seen the silhouette on our other videos, uh, on other streams and such, but this I wanted to show you is the first illustrations, concepts of the silhouette. Literally a silhouette, not even colored in yet. Uh, these are my brother's illustrations from, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's 2011 under his signature there. That is 2011. That is insane. Uh, so this character, if you guys heard me talk about him, he's the first character that my brother and I have created and published. Uh, this is the first drawing uh, concept art. And we're going to go through and show um, the, the, the next iterations. Brandon has him in like a bunch of weird, wacky poses. 
uh, like figure drawings and such. But the original concept was he was kind of a joke character. He came from and my brother and I, you know, driving in the backseat of our parents' car probably, bouncing ideas back and forth. And uh, I really like The Shadow, uh, the Alec Baldwin movie, the, you know, the character, the old pulp hero. And I'm like, what if The Shadow, uh, he wasn't a man, he was just always a shadow. That would be like totally useless, right? And we're just giggling about it. And that sprang off into the silhouette. Uh, literally the obvious name of the silhouette because he is that. He's the absence of light. And over the years, he has transformed into a much cooler character than that base concept, than that base design and uh, I could actually show you some of the old images of the old comics we used to publish. Now keep in mind this was not illustrated. This was uh, taken photographs in front of a green screen that my brother then photoshopped to look like a comic book. Um, and the silhouette was played by me back in the day. So here, this is actually the first cover of issue one. We did have an issue zero for one of the Wizard World Comic Cons and a very basic cover of the silhouette phasing through a brick wall um, coming in on some bad guys here. Uh, there was some some cool parts that I'm actually proud of like this little this little punch here at, at the end. I did I did uh, the lettering for this uh, even back then. Uh, my lettering is exponentially better I, I think but this was some fun stuff you know this was kids getting together my brother and I making a, a comic book with our friends and that's why I think this series and this character means so much to us because we've known him for so long. I've been writing stories about the silhouette for years and I, I know him so well and what he would do in different situations now that he is kind of like elevated to uh, this a, a, a whole nother level, if you will, with the, the art from Maxi and the art from everybody on this book is going to be amazing. So I wanted to show you where the silhouette started. I think we'll put some of these pages in uh, maybe the supplemental book or in the back of the Lost Pages book so you guys can see where uh, all this started and uh, it's kind of like this, this splash page. And you can see this kind of resonating and reflecting into some of the art that I'm about to show which is the silhouette. So right here is the silhouette cover for his kind of first appearance If uh, C when CG Jumpstart comes out. He has a four page short story in that book. So check out CG Jumpstart. The War Campaign Boys just put out Vestige and people are getting it today. So we're gonna have CG Jumpstart in no time. Uh, and this is an awesome cover representing you know, the silhouette with his new logo, with his new illustrated look from Maxi Dallow and as we go here you could see how badass he looks. Um, he is a shadow man, the absence of light. He can uh, affect shadows, he could lift people up by their shadows and he can make shadow guns, he could face through walls um, and he doesn't really know about a lot about his past. Um, especially in this scene, this is one of the pages that uh, he's kind of contemplating who he is, where he's come from, and he doesn't really know that. Uh, as you go through the Lost Pages series, you're going to find out, and he, he's going to find out with you, um, who he actually was in the past, and why he is the way he is now, why he is this kind of avatar of um, justice for this city that he sees that is so bleak. Uh, he his blaring white eyes are, are the only thing that, that represents the small amount of innocence in this city of darkness. So he's, he's basically the, the um, personification of justice and sin. Uh, yeah, so the silhouette, uh, again, another, another beautiful shot by Maxi drawn here. This story is going to be in black and white and red, so there's going to be some blood in there. Of course, we want to take you back to the, the good old days of supernatural vigilante, um, you know, black and white noir comics. Uh, people will tell me that it gives them, you know, uh, has shades of Frank Miller in there. Uh, I love Sin City. I love that style. And Maxi is hitting it on the the the, the head and the nail. Um, the silhouette means so much to us, and there's so much to tell about him. This is just the first story in a long series 
of the Lost Pages that you're going to see him in. Uh, he's going to interact with those other characters. He will eventually meet that Crimstone character I was just showing you earlier that won that contest, and he'll meet all the other characters in the Lost Pages universe. Let us know down below. And I, I did do an exclusive reveal this weekend. I was on Ethan Van Skyver's stream showing off some awesome work from the Lost Pages, letting everybody know about it. And I let slip a little exclusive uh, drop that if you guys back the first week of the Lost Pages campaign, you're going to get an exclusive trading card. And uh, it's going to be the silhouette trading card. It's going to have an awesome bio on the back. And the trading card art is drawn by none other than Andrew Huerta. Andrew Huerta of Sovereign fame. Um, he's, he's doing the, the cover for CG Jumpstart. An amazing artist. And I want to show it to you guys right now. This is an exclusive look at the trading card that you guys are going to get when you do back the first week of the campaign. And this is Andrew Huerta's silhouette trading card. Look at that. It's done digitally. He, he is such an awesome artist. Has, has such a distinct style to him. Uh, he has that graffiti style, and he's such a cool guy, man. He wants to help out everybody he can, and uh, he's, he definitely helped us out. He did this amazing art for us, and I think we're going to be doing more with him because uh, he's just he's such a great, great creator in, uh, in the scene. So let us know what you think about this trading card art. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for the Lost Pages. Go down in the link below in that description sign up for the newsletter so you can get all the info about these characters uh, and you'll know when we launch if you do sign up with that newsletter and you back the book you're gonna get another free trading card that's gonna be totally different from this one uh, all you have to do is sign up and back uh, and we will catch you next time guys let us know how you liked this video do you want me to make it its own series about these characters or put it in the updates you just let us know and we'll see you throughout the week with more videos